So I personally believe scales is probably a poor metric to follow when going for a weight loss journey, you know, because it can be, we, I own a weight loss gym. Um, I take people for a weight loss journey and we do not own one scale in this building. I never weigh my clients uh, because obviously it has a merit, you know, if you've got like four or five stone to lose, it will show you if you're going in the right direction in some sense, but it's also the cause of why people can sabotage what they're doing and continues to do what is working. Um, what I get with my clients to do is uh, just focus on the next step. It's normally dress sizes. So whatever dress size they're at, I get them to go buy another outfit. So dress size down and then put it in a place where they can see it, normally on their wardrobe, and just aim to hit in that dress size. Once they do it, they go out and buy another one. The reason why I get them to buy uh, an outfit rather than using something they got in their wardrobe, when they buy it, it creates a commitment in their body and creates excitement to achieve something. So it creates the determination to be even greater. So we've, and, and it's also a way of creating little mini milestones in the right direction. If people jump straight to the end goal, so for example, say someone's size 20 and they want to be a size 14, and they went and brought a size 14 dress, which is the end goal, they're missing all the little wins along the way. And um, by having those little wins along the way, it creates all those endorphins and things, but it allows you to realize you are going in the right direction. If you only go to the end goal, say for example, size 14, you're priming yourself for the future. So say this person is size 20, once they hit size 14, because they're so for look forward to the future, once they get to size 14, they won't be as happy as they think they would be because they're so used to looking forward to the future and they'll be looking forward to the next goal, size 12, size 10, rather than being content with what they've achieved. Uh, scales, obviously they, they do have merit, but what happens when people go for a journey, you're meant to eat food, uh, you're meant to train, and when you do that, food can feed the muscles, and it can make your muscles more dense than fat, and therefore, when you go for a weight loss journey, your, your weight will go down, but if you do the right things, it will stay the same and go up before it goes back down again, and it'll have that little pattern. Now, if you stood on the scales regularly, and one day you stood it and the scales went up, um, you may think you're doing something wrong, but actually, you're probably doing something right, um, and you should continue. And when people stand on the scales thinking that they're doing something wrong, then um, they will eat less within the day or drink less to try and get those numbers to go down, which is the wrong thing to do because your body needs all that intake to continue to function properly, to feed the muscles and the body with what it needs and to continue flourishing the way it needs to. So I believe scales is the wrong metric because you're not, your happiness is determined by the numbers on the scales. Health is a feeling. You know when you're healthy, you know when you're not healthy. It's quite simple. Uh, so that's my little advice to you.